We're going to take good old Roach over there. By the way, this is Roach. Um, he is my brown horse. The horse I spent forever trying to find. My dream horse, which is just a solid brown. And his name is inspired after the Witcher 3, of course. Geralt's horse, Roach. And, um, yeah, he's really nice. He's got a good hop. Uh, he's pretty fast as well. I, I don't use him as much. I need to start using horse travel more often. Over here, I just wanted to stop by this. Um, I made a little campsite. I forgot all about this, by the way. This is cool. What do I have in here? Flint and steel. Awesome. <laughs> what is this? I saw a sign over here. Oh, God. Roach. I'm sorry. Roach. No, don't go in the lava pit. I'm sorry. Jesus. God. <laughs> um, danger. Exposed lava. Oh, yeah. That's part of why. Yeah. And then this road leads right there. And I need to build a bridge there and continue it on. Roach, I am so sorry. You didn't take any damage, though. That's how strong your armor is. And that's how strong you are. Because you're a strong horsey. This is the nether portal. As if you've never seen those before. Uh, I still have to find or work with nether portals and make a cool nether entrance around my base. Because as of right now, I just have a normal one over here. Um, this over here is just kind of working stuff. This was all here when I was building the greenhouses. And I, I never really moved it because I still kind of come by and use these furnaces sometime. Um, so we've got some random chests all over the world with random stuff. This is Lil Pete 2. At first we had Lil Pete 1. Uh, Roach, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off of you. Lil Peach 1 was my, uh, snow golem. And I used to go to him to get snow, of course. But, as of now, you can no longer do the little thing. At least I haven't tried the new one yet. But Lil Pete ended up dying or despawning. I think a baby zombie ended up kind of going under there and killing him. But he used to be able to hold... Oh! Oh my god, they fixed it. And it's way faster. Jeez. Oh! That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Lil Pete 2 is even more better. <laughs> well, I miss Lil Pete 1, but oh well. This is my iron farm. I really love the look of this. Ah, my good old iron face there. Or my uh, iron golem face. Um, yeah, so this is... It's kind of been slowing down, honestly. But I think it's just because I'm not over... Oh, never mind. I am definitely... What the heck, string? <laughs> I'm definitely going to take that... Wow, that is a lot of iron. Huh. Did you see this iron, dude? That's a lot of iron. Wow, 28 blocks? Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, I have three pods around the sides. It looks like... Oh, it looks like they're still kind of in there. Most of them are. But as you saw, some of them kind of escape. And that eventually led to me having to make it look like a prison. <laughs> because they kept escaping. So I needed to trap them in. And produce iron golems for me. So, yeah, that's why it looks like a prison now. <laughs> Over here, we got the derpy tree. Or, oh, I called it the derpy tree forever. But then I was walked by one day. I'm like, wait a minute. This isn't a tree. <laughs> and then I renamed it to derpy mushroom. A creeper blew up here. That's why it's called that. And I repaired it. And it looks derpy. And that's how it got its name. <laughs> this over here is JFM's Frosty Igloo. Wow, it is dark in here. Why is it so dark? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Jack is was kind of the leader of Minecraft Pocket Edition for the longest time. I still consider think like I think he is. Um, he's going to start uploading again soon, and he revealed his little face. Jack, I know what you look like now. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know why. That's just there. This is my tree house. We recently kind of worked on it a bit, making the leaves look more fluffier. Still need some work, but I kind of like it. I want to do some work on the inside. That is Roscoe, our kitty cat. We got um, from the jungle, of course. They are all ocelots, by the way, because there was a glitch in the game where they all got turned ocelots. And now every time I breed them, it makes even more ocelots. It never makes normal colored kittens. So <laughs> we are stuck with friggin' ocelot cats. We need to go back and get some normal kittens. Um, but yeah, this is an awful room. I want to fix it and make it better. Way better. Just better. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that leads up to there. Let's move on over yonder. Over here, huh, we got the farmhouse, as I like to call it. Um, is this still called the farmhouse? or the? Oh, I ended up naming it the workshop. Um, I got inspired by this house by someone. I forgot his name. Um, but, yeah, I kind of just built it, and I'm like, yeah, this is cool. <laughs> Wait, is there stuff in these chests? Oh, wow, there is. I remember I actually came over here once, and there was like a diamond pick in this chest. And I'm like, what? And it was enchanted with like silk touch. That was kind of cool. Um, yeah, nothing really much in here. I haven't really 
to mess with it. I kind of do. We need to furnish it and find a use for it. There's a lot of things in Minecraft. I need to find a use for it. Um, over this way, this leads um, to a fountain. So I have a lot of different things in this world that commemorate to subscriber specials. This is the first one right here. I need a drink of water. Oh. That is the most satisfying thing in the world. After talking for half an hour, <laughs> getting a drink of ice cold water. Oh. Um, but yeah, this is the first thing I commemorated to my first subscriber goal, which was 10,000 subscribers. And that was back, wow, that's two years ago. Just about two years ago. No, 16, 17, yeah, two years ago. <laughs> I can do math. <laughs> um, two years ago, since I've hit 10,000 subscribers, man, I felt so good when I hit that. And now I hit 100,000. We have a big thing we have to do on this world for 100,000. We're going to build something big. This over here was commemorated to 15,000 subscribers, which I hit 7 6 2016. I built a little fountain. I kind of like it. Um, over this way, got a little pumpkin patch. I don't know. I kind of like building that kind of stuff. Um, that used to hold logs, but then I needed the logs, so I took away the logs, and now they're just floating there, which is interesting. <laughs> um, this over here is the barn, which I really love. Um, this is, well, my horse stables, I should say. These horses in here are pretty old. Back in 0. Point, what was it? 0. 0.12.0, I think the horses came out. And we had a big horse breeding spree. Up here's the loft. Uh, source of man, I need to bring all my saddles over here. This is nothing. This is just a little bit of horse armor. If I put all my horse armor in here, it'd probably fill up all the way to down here or something. Um, that's my first horse armor, I think. Or maybe that one. Yeah, I think it was that one. It's really cool that you can dye leather horse armor on here. Um, I use that occasionally. I breed them on this side over there. Um, over here, we got the animal farms I never use because I'm never over here. So if I breed them, they'll never grow up. And that's what kind of rendered it useless. Uh, he's been in there forever. <laughs> um, but then I started filling it up with some sheep over here. And holy moly, there's a lot of animals in here that shouldn't be in here. <laughs> there's a horse over here and a cow and a sheep. Oh, man. And a pig. Jeez. Huh. Um, this is a lake over here. I need to name this lake something. I wanted to do that. Actually, like, give my lakes names. Um, this is where I come to relax every so often. Or hide under this to not get wet. Come on. I'm a pro. I can do this. God. And this right here is the factory. I recently built this staircase up to it, and I absolutely love it. Ah, oh, it just seems so appropriate for it. So... This is the next major project we have to work on in this world. I've been gathering coal supply. I've been actually gathering some clay. Um, and this is what we're going to work on next. It's it's supposed to be huge. Originally, it was supposed to house a lot of redstone projects. As this is right over here, this is what I call the melon tower. Is this still broke? No, it's not broken. But um, originally, it used to be broken where the pistons would always stay extended. But they're not now. I think it's fixed. You just press that, and then you'd walk up and collect all your melons. But, of course, I need to, like, fill up these with, like, glass or something. <laughs> um, you only get a few from it. Mm, fresh melon. But, yeah, this is neat. This really needs to be finished. As you can see how tall it is, this whole thing is supposed to be that tall. And what I'm standing in right now is supposed to be that big as well. This is supposed to be, like, one big workshop. So, that means we're going to have to gather a lot of that stuff, brick. But I love the look of it because it reminds me of the old factories from like the 1800s and I love that. Over here we got the giant wheat field. This was just kind of a project I built on every so often. It started off very small and then I'm like, you know what, I'm never really going to do anything with all this open land so I decided to just start planting crops and then planting even more crops and more and more. Eventually I planted some carrots and potatoes and I think that was a bad idea because now it just looks like ungrown crop or ungrown wheat and it just doesn't fit the color as well and when the new textures come out which is hopefully soon they'll bring it to this i love the wheat look in that um so it'll make this place look a whole lot better this giant monstrosity right here is the most sacred thing in my world in my opinion this is or was the nether reactor this was the nether we had because i know a lot of you were not around to witness this um this, is, this was the nether before we actually got introduced to the actual nether. We had to build a physical item on the ground, which I wanted to build for commemoration sometime around my world. Um, and it was like made out of cobblestone, gold, and then you had to build a thing called the nether core, which is made out of diamond and iron. 
And um, you come here, build it. You tap on the nether core with your sword. And uh, I, wish, well, I wish it was still here for some reason. I don't know why. And then this would turn into like red obsidian. All the walls would close on you. And things would just start popping out of the ground. <laughs> and you'd run around. Some zombie sp uh, pigmen would spawn. You'd have to kill them. But this is how we got nether items back in the day when they couldn't fully introduce the full nether. And then after like a minute or 30 seconds, it would turn back to normal and it would kind of turn into this blotched look. And yeah, that was the first. And people always tell me, take that thing down. It looks disgusting. Heck no. I wouldn't take that down for a thousand dollars. Honestly, <laughs> I'm being a hundred percent honest with you. If someone walked up to me and gave me a thousand, I would, I would turn it down because that is one of the most unique things in this world that you can never get again. And that, which makes me sad is because I was one day building a shrine for the nether core because I still had it. And then I was like, nah, I'm going to build it somewhere else. I picked up the nether core and it turned into iron and diamonds and I could no longer get the nether core back, which broke my heart. Ah, oh, so sad. <laughs> this road right here, uh, I think I call it Village Road because it leads out to the village where I've gotten most of my villagers from to populate my iron farm. It just leads over that way. Just a nice little village. I think it's unpopulated right now because the zombies always keep killing them off. So we're going to have to go over there and build something sometime. Ugh, there's still so much to show you guys. I've just forgot how much I've built in this world. Um, this right here is that little drop I was talking about. But I need more slime bo blocks uh, because... I ended up having to use them for stuff, and uh, we need to go out to the swamp sometime and kill my brothers. And we used to drop down there, and it would bounce us up, bounce us up perfectly to our underground base area. Over here, we got the diamond mine. This, this little circle right here, or big circle, was built back in like episode in the, like the teen episodes, I think. I built like a circle, and then later on, I ended up digging it completely out. And of course, now it is the place where we go to mine mostly. Over here, this is like, that's level 12, that makes 11, 10, 9, 8. So this was kind of a bad idea because you dig and run into lava all the time because lava spawns on 12, which led to eventually me building it up one more over here. Oh yeah, I forgot to put up a flag up there. And now this is level 12 and that's level 16, so I mainly use this as my mine now over here. And um, I really like these because I made it look realistic, like I had to add up supports and all that. Um, and I even have this system where... I bring a cart with me, and every time I get fully loaded, I'd come back out, push the cart, and then it would unload all into here. Oh, iron. Yeah. So, that is that. Uh, and then this is where I unload the junk. And right here, I was eventually going to build a thing where I can send all the ores up near the vault, where I then can then convert them to ore, and then blocks, and then put into my vault, which we're still going to do soon, one day. And this little thing is nice right here. This is my elevator. I really love this because it's so convenient. You just press a button, hop in it. It works 98% of the time. And then you hop out. Like I said, it works 98% of the time. That actually rarely happens. And that makes me mad that it had to happen when I'm doing a world tour. <laughs> uh, but you would hop out right here. And then it would fall into that hopper. And then, god damn it. It would hop, fall into that hopper. <laughs> and then fall down there and reset itself. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a little center map thing I have here of our little world. Just a nice little display. I like doing this kind of nether war. I like adding color into my world. Kind of nice. The watchtower. Um, I, haven't, I didn't go up there, but I'm, I'm sure you know what it looks like. It's a watchtower. <laughs> I didn't really show this right here. This, I got a little hopscotch thing. This leads to a private library, I like to call it. I still got to work with this right here because I converted it to go on over to my underground base but over here i used to go through two doors but zombies broke them down I'm missing a door there too did they break that down <laughs> this is my private library i really like it um i used to have a fire going there but i, I just don't trust it i don't want to have a fire going um I, t I tell stories in here sometimes i have a few episodes where i sit here and tell you some stories <laughs> got an enchantment room right here kind of nice got an emergency exit i don't really come down here that often and over here uh, we actually recently built this kind of wall around here is our beacon Kind of nice. I don't use it though. You know why because of the effects the bubble effects just drives me insane fluttering around my face all day every day, which f <laughs> makes me so mad. I know there's a Like a resource pack out there, but it just drives me insane knowing that you have to have a resource pack to Be able to use a beacon without it annoying you to death This is a little stables. I have built into my house. This is 
fairly new, not really new. Um, this is Eeyore back here. This is my mule. He kind of just carries supplies on him. This is more of my adventure uh, steed I like to take. This is Ed, Derpy Ed, the good old llama. Um, yeah, they're kind of pointless. <laughs> I really wish they had more use, but just they're really pointless. They are. And this is Spud, the good old Spud. But uh, he's one of the oldest animals in this world. He lost his name tag, though, so we're going to have to give him that back. Um, he's just my good old donkey. And then you saw Roach, of course. Oh, we need to go up there because I haven't really toured this part of the house. This up here is the kitchen. This is kind of fairly new. Oh, my Lord. What's going on here? You look so innocent. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, I was being sarcastic there. They look like they just done something bad. Um, I, man, this is my sink. I put my dishes in there. So many eggs. Oh, and I'm making more. Oh, this is so bad. Uh, yeah, I really like this room. Got my kitty boxes. There's Bobby. By the way, I thought he despawned, but he didn't. I forgot I brought him down here. And he got his name tag back, which is nice. Yeah, this nice little kitchen. Store food. Oh, yeah. Store food over here in this little chest. I made a lot of mushroom stew. I feel like having some. I'm going to store my eggs in there. And then, of course, if I want something random, like a fish, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Upstairs is the trophy room. This was a recent build. Um, I, this was, like, originally where the kitchen was, but then I changed it. Still got to make the roof in here. Still kind of messing with it. This is where the pickaxe was. That's my first traded emerald. Got my first pickaxe. Uh, I got that from trading, and then here's some Woodland Mansion stuff. Kind of nice. Um, and then this is where the dragon egg is going to go one day. And I like it because you can see all the way down the house. You'll be able to see the dragon egg. All right. Over here is the train station. Another long overdue project that we ended up finishing fairly recently. Kind of. We still got to do something with these right here. But they look kind of nice open. Um, this is just a big unnecessary room. The more I look at it, I'm like, wow, that was really big and unnecessary. I actually think I should have built this more into the center rather than on the outside. But, of course, this is how I travel around. You can um, pick a location. Let's say I want to go to the factory. Hop in the minecart. It'll take me there. Or you could reset the tracks. Um, but, of course, it'll reset itself once it goes by hitting these. And, of course, we got the subway, which is the newest addition to our world. Yeah, so uh, this still needs a lot of work because I'm still confused on how I want to do the tracks. As of right now, it just leads down here, and then you'd hop out and pick a location you want to go, but I don't really like that. I want it to be long, con one long continuous track that just goes to where you want to go. Ugh, it's so difficult. Tracks are annoying. <laughs> but, of course, we have episodes in the future to tackle that kind of stuff. This up here, my little lion, this is my most recent subscriber goal, which I think it might be 70,000? Yeah, 70,000 subscribers. We reached that on 61417, which is nice. Um, I actually have a diamond block somewhere that's commemorated for 50,000, but I still got to find a place to put it. And then we got to do something for 100,000. This right here in front of my house, I recently just kind of built this around it. This leads down to the XP farm. Um, a lot of you have seen this. Um, still kind of a mess down here, but this is where I go to get a lot of my XP, of course. And over here is the crazy... Crazy storage room known as my mob drop room, I guess, from the zombies. All the armor and rotten flesh. I still have a lot of rotten flesh in here somewhere. Yeah, I got multiple of these chests, a lot of them. And we're getting so many that we have to start turning it around this way. So crazy how much you get from that. Um, this is one of my first anvils. Yeah, it's really broken too. It's just, yeah, there. <laughs> Back in front of the house over this way. Oh, I haven't really showed you these dogs. This says Daisy. And that is Toby. He's the newest child from Daisy and Liam. Liam is my main dog. Um, but over here is the graveyard. This is a place I hate to go into because it reminds me of our good animals of the past. Get, get out of here. <laughs> um, I'll kind of take you through. This is Max. He despawned, I think. Riley, she despawned. <laughs> Shivers. Oh, man. Oh, this is, the, this is my most favorite guy in this world. Horse, I should say. Um. I was actually in this graveyard when it was thundering, and then, I don't know, where lightning struck right there. And then, of course, a bunch of skeleton horses spawned. I think I was on Peaceful at the moment, though, so no skeletons spawned with them. Um, but that is how Shivers was born. And then I tamed him the next episode. And then the next episode after that, 
I slept in my bed at the beginning, and then a creeper snuck up and blew me up and killed Shivers. Rest in peace. <laughs> oh, so tragic. Um, Buster. Oh, Buster. One of my favorite dogs. In, no, not my favorite. My second favorite dog in this world. Um, he saved me. He died a true hero. <laughs> that He actually lived a long time. Look at that. Um, we were going on a, a realistic camping adventure, and I died, and I was running back. And I started dying again. We were on hard mode. And then out of nowhere, Buster comes to the rescue and starts killing the zombie behind me. And I didn't know what happened to him. I thought he'd despawned or something. But I went back to watch the audio clips and you heard a faint little dog cry in the background of a dog dying. And I think he died trying to protect me. And he actually did save my life. So he died a true hero. I want to put an American flag on this, actually, because I know how to make... Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> little Pete, of course, you know who he is. Uh, I think he died by a baby zombie. Snow Golem. Admiral, my first official horse. We were on a huge adventure. Oh, how did he die? Oh, yeah, I despawn, I think. We were on a huge adventure. I left the game on my horse, and I joined back, and he was no longer under me, and he left me stranded <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, man. Um, Terry, of course, is the Iron Golem. You know, where his uh, cave is. Um, we got any more over here? This is the little chapel I go to when we have funerals. <laughs> um, there's some empty graves. Back here is the main grave. This is Pablo, the first dog of my world. He doesn't have a death date because there's been so much confusion. We ended up, after he, I think he despawned or died. Yeah, I think he despawned because, remember, Pocket Edition was very buggy in the beginning days. He despawned and later, like... Uh, 50 to 100 episodes later, I was adventuring, and I found a random dog out in the wild that had a white collar, and he couldn't stand up. So I ended up somehow dragging... I think I pushed him all the way home, and I, I, I was so wanting him to be Pablo because I just I, there was no telling who he was, so I named him Pablo, and I said he came back. But again, he ended up despawning with Max and Riley, and now I need to put a new death date on there. <laughs> so that's the graveyard. <laughs> Over here is the flower garden, just a nice little garden I have next to the survival lab. I kind of like this. Um, in here, I really like this room. I really loved it. This used to hold wheat, but since it's now a survival lab or a potion lab, um, it is the survival lab, but I grow nether wart down here. By the way, where that potion room brewing station was underground, I showed you when I finished brewing, I press a, bu a button and it sends it all up here. And that's how, but who knows if that all works now. I got to mess with it because that brewing station is all messed up now. Um... Over this way, I've kind of expanded. Um, got a little working table there. Just a little decorations. This leads down to the underground base. This is my big sunflower patch. <laughs> um, I kind of like it. We're still expanding it. Um, over there is the firewall. As you can... Oh. Well, as you can see back there is a floating log. That There's a huge forest fire. And I mean absolutely huge. Um, but I'm not going to show you that right now because it's kind of far out there. But it was spreading this way very quick in the past episodes. And I was scared and I put up a firewall just in case it would have reached our world. <laughs> that was crazy. And it's still blazing out there. I guarantee it is because I went out there recently. Um, this is a big barn I was supposed to use for the tree farm. But I never ended up really doing because it was just very inefficient and... Coming out here just to get trees when you could just bone meal them in your front yard was much more simpler. Um, that is our giant hill. I think I want to do our 100,000 subscriber thing up there one day. You know what? I want to go out there to see if the fire is still blazing. I'm going to go grab a uh, roach. All right, after all these episodes, we're going to see if this fire is still blazing. I mean, look at this over here. It just looks like a torn down forest. This all used to be one giant forest you see all through here. Um, all of this, 100% forest. And you can see still some of the remnants. Oh, this is kind of just sad looking. <laughs> um, oh, man. Oh, wow. Look, there is still a fire going. I mean, of course, it's because the chunks aren't loaded all the time. But it is still going. That is just crazy. And, of course, it's going to continue spreading all throughout here. Um, wow. I can't believe that. And I think there's some more over this way, too. Yeah, I think that was the last bit of the forest fire over there. It's still blazing, but, I mean, it's still there. I could easily put that out now, but eh, I don't think that'll do much harm because I'm never out there. So we'll just leave it to be. Let nature take its course. Um, yeah, I think that is just about everything. I'm going to run through my world real quick and make sure I haven't really missed anything. 
So yeah, guys, I think that is just about it. There's a lot of small things I guarantee I probably have missed, but that tends to happen when you have a world this big. Um, but I just want to thank you so much if you've watched all the way to the end. Um, I can't believe how far we've come, and I thank you so much for all the new people coming to join me on this adventure. This world is never going to end. This is my main Let's Play, and I know a lot of people are tired of it, and, well, I'm not. I am in love with this world. Every time I think of Minecraft, I think of this world. And this world is what built my channel today. And I hope it continues to build my channel to the future. Um, I look forward to what Minecraft brings to us. Update Aquatic and all the future stuff. I can't wait to adventure with you guys. Because there's a lot of adventuring left to do in this world. We've only traveled so far. And Minecraft is limitless. Well, at least to 30 million blocks, that is. <laughs> um, so, yeah, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy the world. Download link is down below. Um, I don't. I won't have this inventory, by the way. I'll have everything cleaned up. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of small things, like I said, that I haven't really showed you. But I'll leave that to you to explore. So guys, thank you so much for joining me on this amazing adventure through 200 episodes of Minecraft Pocket Edition to Windows 10. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to prepare for the Ender Dragon fight. See you guys there. Bye-bye.